All right. Game. Okay. Let me. All right. I have three. Let's see here. Oh no, friend line. Okay, yeah. The okay, the only place I'd go would be here before I said to pick up this. I think before I'd, I'll track this mission because that gets me the third mod, which is kind of my favorite. It's four kilometers. The worst part is, um, part of me is kind of like, no, what? Maybe I should get a car so that I can get there a bit faster. But like, I'd love to jam out to the in-game radio. But yeah, with Twitch's whole like horrible way of handling uh, DMCA stuff, it just feels like a bad idea to play any in-game music that isn't. Like, just the game itself doing it. <laughs> yeah, you're right, Midmon. Just mute all your videos. Well, it's a counterclaim. Just... Bah. Alright. I still got it. Is I <clears throat> all music anywhere is illegal now? Yes. Also, a fun uh, quirk of the opening the parachute, especially while you're uh, zip lining or uh, zip lining or wingsuiting, is that it negates all like damage from like momentum. So if you're about to like. You know, crash into the earth and die terribly. Uh, you'll just be fine. <clears throat> oh. Hello there. Oh. My connection got a bit unstable for a bit. Or... Hmm. My Wi Fi is doing. Yeah, yeah. My internet's doing good, just network seems to be a bit unstable. Or my connection to Twitch at least seems to be a bit unstable, so I'll let that chill for a bit, but yeah, had to check. Hoping for network connection. Oh she would tell me something more useful. But yeah, let's start this off. You must be Rodriguez, 6, the revolutionary. Right. You must be Javi. I am not. There's little time to explain. Javi said you would be able to bring him the equipment he needs. Did he? The Black Hand have confiscated his things over by the waterfall. If you defeat them, you can take his equipment to him at the Tomb of Samar. Alright. 
my connection seems to be better now. But yeah, there's that weird little cutscene. I still don't get why it's kind of included. Since, like, it is so short anyway. I need a new gun. Ah, uh, do no further contact. All you need to stay alert. Ah, uh, yeah. Let's just get a RPG. Let's go. Better be worth it, amigo. It is. I promise you. Lost contact with enemy. This works. Uh, retract will also will automatically will work automatically after release tethers because it is in the auto column. Thanks. Um oh, that that's fine. This is some place, Javi. An aqua bond device, yep. At least six centuries old. And sealed off by the black hand since its discovery. Uh huh. I promise I will explain everything. There's a map inside the plane. You can get my coordinates from there. Is there anything else? Got your map. Wait. Where am I going? I'd like to begin with where you're coming from. That aqueduct is hidden behind those doors for a reason. For years, I have gathered evidence that the indigenous peoples of Solis were more advanced than we've been told. The Espinosas didn't like anyone challenging their narrative. I was imprisoned. My wife won't speak to me. My reputation is ruined. Your shady friends seem to think you are okay. I made allies in prison. People who'd seen the cracks in the facade. Now they help me uncover the truth. And what do you need me for? I believe I have discovered the path to the tomb of Otorongo, last ruler of the pre Espinosa people of Solis. According to the history books, Otorongo was executed for countless murders. But I believe the reality is more complex and dangerous. To who? The Espinosas. Their monopoly. If this part of history is not true, what else might be false? Histories, criminal records, election results. Truth is a commodity to the wealthy. Dropping off plata and ka -ching. Your lie becomes the law. You had oh a boy. lot of time to think in prison, huh? I forgot about this part of the game that's you have unfortunately no topical. Senor Rodriguez. Sorry for making <laughs> that motion sickness. But yeah. Also, flying planes in this game is uh, very wonky. If I just hold down B, which normal games, in normal uh, games with airplanes, I just slowly begin turning my rudder. But, or my y'all, but here, it just, I can do full circles. Uh. Huh. Also, bots are getting, huh, just using weird characters to try to get past, uh, auto mods, I guess. That's a life. Also, can I land this plane? Find me at the mouth of the cenote when you arrive. The what? Oh god. Ah. Still going. A cave. In the top of the mountain. Mm. Ah. 
I want to actually land this plane. Give me a bit. I'll, <laughs> I'll get on it. I can land a plane. Have faith in me. Um. Yeah, it, that is why I have actual knots, because, like, uh. Gotta fuck that. No! Ah! Please! Ah! What's going on? Stretch my legs! <laughs> yeah, y'all, yeah, good job taking care of that. I appreciate it, Muse. Also, Please clamp someone. Please. Someone, please clamp my terrible plane landing if you can. If not, I'll I'll do it later. But oh boy, that sure was something. Wait, why was I told to? Oh wait, no. Why did I land there? Don't know. Oh well. That was not a ten out of ten. Uh, <laughs> Please clap. <laughs> Avi Huerta. Did you bring what I asked? See, si. your stash is safe for now. Want to put that gun down? It's not a gun, Senor Rodriguez. It's a relic, a figure of Otorongo, mid-16th century. So, were you going to hit me with that? Hit you? <laughs> I was gonna run away with it, to protect it. It's very precious. Hmm. See, the Black and were very interested in your collection. Yes, well, uh, the truth is a very powerful weapon. Oscar Espinosa fears that I will use it against him. And you really think what you find in Otorongo's tomb can help you take down Espinosa? Take down? Perhaps not. Discredit? Most definitely. And this is Otorongo's tomb? Oh, hardly. No, this is merely the tomb of his servant, Sumac. But I've been unable to proceed further without my retract motor. <laughs> Did you bring it? <laughs> I see. Bueno. Let's begin. Yeah, Rico has been through three games already where he keeps getting uh, betrayed by things. But at the same time, <laughs> he's not the smartest. He's not the smartest man. That object is why we need the retract motor, Rico. I believe it is connected to underground machinery. That sounded like... something. I see it. A giant head. Rico, follow it. I can tell what kind of day this is going to be. It is a rough world being an action star. That Uma is an ancient sculpture of an honored person. This one may be Sumak's visage. Avi, big guy and I are at the floor of the cave. What do you see? There's a mechanism in the ground. Looks about the same size as the head. It's a giant lock, Rico. The Uma is the key. Can you use the retract to get the Uma to the mechanism? Why not? There's a human skull with a candle inside. Light it. And be ready for anything. Master Key. Something happened. Key a door opened up. It must be the vault. Where Sumak sleeps eternal. Rico, please. Here goes nothing. There's text on the wall. I'm buried. Only five beds remain. 
That mean anything to you? No. It sounds like a single line from a longer text. There must be more. If it's gonna screw over Espinosa, count me in. Bueno. Others close to Otorongo will likely have the other lines. The tombs of his family, his advisors. I'll keep... Game, stop interrupting your own dialogue. But yes, seek out and find open the hidden tombs of Otorongo's family and advisors. Find and follow the find and follow ancient statues to help uh, Javi uncover more information about the pre-Espinosian Solen Solenos. Helping Javi and his associates will earn mod points that can unlock retractor mods. My eyes open. Hooray. Also, I get it. Ah, oh, length effect. Deactivate snap pulse. Ooh, pulse is my favorite, I think. Minimum length. Power yank. Retract speed. Uh... Actually, I think this one is... Definitely. What is the map for here? Pass through the ring in a helicopter. Oh, um, not actually. Let me. Uh, the map could be a pain to navigate at times, but let's. Probably head over there, I think. So that I can move the the front line into this region. Tutorial message. <laughs> They're fine just whenever. Nobody reads those. Some dev, probably. Yeah, I believe it. Uh, can I leave through here or do I have to climb up? Which I'm absolutely capable of climbing up. Know what? I think I may want my plane. Get that over there. Okay, the wind's doing weird things over here, and I forgot where I left the plane. In it, her goat, her cow, the mountain cow. Look, I'm not sure how that works either. I've reached Prospero Robotica. You should be able oh. to download blueprints from the diagnostic consoles at the proving grounds. Oh yeah, this is the... no, wait. I mean, I could hit this early, but I won't be able to actually get to it. I'll... back over here.
Well, let's unlock some more spots on the map. And do some impossible flying. Mountain cow. Or <laughs> more commonly, cow. Yes. Sargento here. Rico, Academia oh, One I is home wrong. to several brainwashing facilities. Brainwashing? It's a pilot program. Solinos who can't pay their debts will be recruited into the Black Hand, then forcibly reformed. We have to stop it. Ah, shit. I'll let you know when I'm at the facility. This game sure is throwing a whole bunch of, like, kind of procedurally generated missions at me, but let's, uh, commit some violence. Academia when I. I found two areas labeled re-education center. I'm marking them for you. That's a start. I'll bring them to the facility entrance. Have evac on standby. We've lost the target. Stand down for now. Enemy target is attacking. Helicopter inbound. Heading to AO. Alright, I don't think... That's taking a while to explode. Pulse is good. Worker to any evil. I I never actually. Huh, that's still not exploded yet. I've yet. I haven't played uh, Just Cause 3. But the idea of Just Cause 3 having, like, cartoony, mind control y thing in a DLC I island you. makes that's sense. <laughs> Thank you, game. <sighs> Big door. There should be a control panel you can use. It's also weather machine and you deprogram missiles mid flight. Yeah, no, that was in Just Cause 2. You deprogram missiles mid flight while chasing after uh, a really dumb, like, next video of a foreign leader while he was trying to ride on uh, nukes mid flight. You know, like Doctor Strange Love, basically. It was bonkers. So, yes, um... Kind of par for the course for the series, honestly. <laughs> and there we go, infiltrate, take out the base. <laughs> Pulling out rocket launcher. No alarms, no one's left alive. I mean, yeah. Yeah. No one sight. Stand by.
Adios. Um. Now, which uh, thing do I have? Redirector, high. Okay, this one doesn't have the pulse. Or no, it does have the pulse. I may still want that. I just want to lift things up. I have sunset of. <laughs> I'm stuck in that. I've tackled that one. Way. No, I believe it. Now, what's up? I'm trying to think. What's. Um, oh, yeah, I'm thinking of Sunset Jammer. That's a high energy one that I think about. Alright, and thanks, Muse, for showing up. And yeah, I hope I also have a good stream, but yeah, yeah, it really means a lot to have a join. That's why I'm hearing rockets. What? You... Adios. Goodbye. Just to be safe. Right, I said just to be safe. You're going there. I said just to be safe. You're going to the Shadow Realm. Ah, oh, come on. Okay. Go. <laughs> Fuck it. 
It's staying there. It's gonna have fun, and no one's gonna use it to blow me up. Target last known position that's was on site. Stand by. How that's gonna work? 